morning before daylight. Well, get him. Get him. Get me out of here. I know he's in town. I'll try and locate him. his plane. He's got to get to the border before daylight. It's a matter of life and death. Is it possible you can get him there? Sure, I can get him there. What's it worth to you? That sounds all right. Where'll I pick him up? Okay, I'll be right over. It's all set. He'll take you. Every paper will have my pictures by morning. Now he'll recognize it and tip them off to where I've gone. Don't worry about that. I'm wanting the boys to meet you. They'll take care of him. Are you speed Brink? Yeah. I guess I'm your passenger. Well, come on, get in. You better put that helmet on because we have to step on it. Okay. You shouldn't have stayed up all night, Pedro. You have long drive, senor. Maybe a little cup of coffee she wants you up. Yeah, you ain't got anything stronger. Coffee will do. Well, that's right thoughtful of you, Pedro. It's just we are amable, senor. Oh, one lady, she come today. Well, it's from my niece. Mm. Well, George, she's coming out here soon. That's all? I suppose that means I'll have to start shaving again. <laughs> We made it all right. Yeah. But this is sure a lonely spot to dump you out. Yeah. You better count that, Joe, and see that it's right. Oh. Come on, let's get out of here. Better turn that car over and make it look like an accident. This bird's done for. All right, boys, take a hold of that. All right, all lift at once. Come on. There she comes. Where to now, Joe? Stafford Ranch. $50,000 in government bonds for all my cattle. How come he paid you with bonds, Judge? Just didn't have enough cash. That's a lot of dough. Anyway, you get it. 
Well, Chuck, that's all that's left of the Stafford fortune, except the ranch. Yeah? Cattle's all gone. Well, anyway, I got a couple of milk cows to take care of. <laughs> well, I guess I'll get a little sleep, Judge. All right, Chuck. Remember me, Stafford? Take a good look. Joe, the killer. Two years ago, you sent me up. I'm keeping my promise. I told you I'd come back. Central, give me Dr. Bateson and Chino. Quick. What's the matter, boys? What happened? I don't know. Oh, my head. Well, you better come along with me, son. Easy now. Hey. Hello, Mike. Joe. You boys better get some sleep. You look pretty pale, Joe. Yeah, two years in the stir is liable to make anyone look pale. 
Well, I got something for that, Tom. Here, take a look at these. I can sort of use them, eh? Government bonds. Yeah. Worth 50,000. Just as good as cash. I guess that kind of evens up my score with Stafford. Stafford? Yeah. Hmm. You can't catch them for a while. You better lay low. And when things cool down, we'll beat it to Florida. Carlotta! Pancho! I can't speak! They kill them! Were you followed here? No! They take me, but I jump in the river. I swim a long time under the water. They think I drown. Who was carrying the stuff? Pancho! Ten thousand gone. They've seen your face, uh -huh. no? You've got to get out of here. Tonight, I'll write you at the canal. I go change my clothes, eh? Oui. The boys weren't fast enough. What I need is two men quick on the trigger. Well, that oughtn't to be hard to get. Hmm. It's not so easy. But tell me about your escape. Well, the money did it. Matter, Chuck. Judge been shot, Doc. Well, you take care of this young fellow. He's in bad shape. This way, Doctor. Where are you hurt, son? My head. Well, you sure got a lemon. Feels more like a watermelon to me. Yeah. Hey, ain't your name Brent? You guessed it. Take a good look at me. Why, you young sidewinder, I taught you how to shoot and ride. I run your old man's ranch for 15... Old Chuck Wiggins. Yeah. I'm sure glad to see you. Bad crease, Judge. It was a mighty close call. But we'll have you out of here in a week. Mm -hmm. So you were stranded, huh? You traveled a lot, no? All the way from New York. New York. <laughs> By golly. I was at the show business in New York once myself. Well, I suppose you want a shop. What you can do, huh? Oh, specialty? That's fine. I'll give you a shot. And if you make good, then we talk business, huh? Yeah. There's the key to your room. Oh, thank you. All right. I hope I'll make good. No, I hope so. Judge, I feel positive that the man that I drove down here is the same one that shot you. And if he is, I feel partly responsible for what has happened. I'm going to try and find him and maybe get your bonds back. You're not responsible at all, my boy. But look at this. I couldn't look, think of letting look. you. We found it where they jumped over the fence. That row will give us something to work on. The fellow that lost it is bound to show up in one of those border joints sooner or later. And if we can locate him, we might locate those bonds. Well, if you think there's a chance... I'm sure of it, Judge. There ain't no harm of the kid and me giving them joints once over. Well, if you're both sure, go ahead. But remember, I'm dead. That's a good idea. <laughs> Thank you.
gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Trina Micheltorina, late star of the big New York show, the Rumba Pride. seen them before. Find out all about them. And if they're in line for a job, bring them over to the house. Okay, boss. Would you really care to dance? Surely. What are you doing in a place like this? Well, I was friends, and one has to be, you know. But you don't have to stay here. No. I'm going to get out of here as soon as I can. Are they holding you here, too? Holding me? I don't understand. Most of these girls here are held prisoners. Prisoners? If you ever need any help, just let me know. Come on, we have a drink on the house. Oh. What's she doing here, son? She says she's stranded. Yeah. That some nifty dancing, stranger. Shooting, too. Where do you fellas hail from? Where we come from, we don't ask questions or answer any. No? My mistake. If you fellas ever happen to need a job, let me know. Might do you some good. Well, this is J. 
job, we might be interested. Let's get outside where we'll talk it over. Yeah. give you a good commission. Commission? Sure, commission on the drinks what you sell. Besides, I give you a good horse to ride. <laughs> you like to ride, no? Oh, yes, Mr. Clark. That's fine. You like it here. Well, what do you say, Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan, I'll stay. You bet you stay. What does this job pay? And who are we going to work for? Yeah, what kind of work? I'll take you to the boss. He'll tell you all about it. Wait right here a minute. Pretty swell jump, eh? Yeah. For this part of the country. Yeah. How'd you do, boy? Hi. Hi. The boys are open for a job, boss. Good. Shall we talk it over? Yeah. Come on and see that. Take a seat. Have a smoke? No, thanks. I'm Sean. Got you. Oh, Joe. These are the boys I was telling you about. So you're the two guys that are quick on the trigger, eh? Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Maybe. I've been there. Where? Somewhere. You ever been down Durango Way? Is that where you're from? I've been lots of places. Yeah? Yeah. What's this job all about? Well, I'll tell you. All you boys will have to do will be to drive from one to 15 head of steers across the border once a week. Now, we can't afford to lose one of those steers. If anybody tries to get them from you, shoot first and talk after. That sounds easy. What's the wages for all this work? You get a hundred a month in your room and board, and you stay at Dutch's Hotel. What do you say? All right, we'll take it. Tell Dutch I sent you. He'll fix you up for the room. When do we start? Tomorrow. Good. I know I've seen that guy someplace. Well, what if you have? As long as they're fast on the draw, that's all we want. What a break that was. Chuck, that's the same fellow I drove down here. Yeah, and that missing Raoul stitches it. He's one of the fellas that helped hold up the judge. As soon as we find those barns, we'll give them something they're not expecting. Hey, what's this steer racket? Sounds kind of fishy to me. Yeah, that's something else we have to find out about. Well, Dutch, how's the new girl like a job? Well, she's been here for one week now, and she seems to be satisfied. Yeah. What are you sending across today, Joe? I'm sending Danny a list of names of the boys along the line. Oh, I can run that over. Oh, yeah? Well, we're not taking any chances. Do you realize what would happen if the law got a hold of this list of names? Is that all that's going over? Yep. Just one steer this time. Well, let's see. Now, the boys have got their orders. And, Spud, you better get down to the crossing in case anything should happen.
morning. Out for another ride? Yes, I thought I'd ride over and see the owl cave. Well, that's 15 miles away. 15 miles? That's too far. I'd better go some other time. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Good day. Well, what's the matter with you? That new gal, the dancer. Well, right? what about her? She's a spy, a star packer. How do you know that? I saw her slip a note to the inspector at the border crossing. He read it and burned it. Well, I'll fix her, the dirty little sneaking. Hello. Let me have Judge Krause at the Yellow Oval. Yeah? Say hello, Dutch. Yeah? Oh, hello, Joe. What's that? Star packer, huh? Well, I soon put a stop to that. Now, don't let her know why. why. I'll get her here later. Uh, I see she don't get away. Ah. Hey, Dugan. Dugan. What? Only one steer today. That's all. Business must be dropping off, eh? It sure is. <laughs> I can't understand why all those steers keep coming back across the border. I don't know. As long as they're willing to pay us two bucks a head to bring them back, I don't care how many go across. Uh, I guess <laughs> not. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Go on. See you later. Oh, hello. Have a nice ride, it no? Wonderful. Did you meet any inspectors? Inspectors? Sure. When you cross the border, you always meet an inspector. But I didn't cross the border. Then you didn't meet any inspectors, huh? <laughs> I didn't cross the border. <laughs> This ain't the silliest darn thing. Two he-men acting as nursemaid for one steer. Look at that ornery critter. Look at that, kid. That steer's lost part of his headgear. That's funny, Chuck. Let's have a look. Well, suffering elephants. A short horned steer wearing long horns. Now we're getting somewhere. Looks like we've run on to something mighty big, Chuck. Yeah. I thought this idea of riding hurt on one steer was sure phony. Take down these names. 
The Mexican government's going to be interested in this. Hey, son. I wonder what's been in them other horns we've been herding across. I wonder. Give this to Joe. There'll be a big bunch coming over next week. Fair enough. We'll be seeing you. Say, what about those two men? They hit town just about the same time that girl did. Do you suppose that... No, they're okay. They don't know what it's all about. Nevertheless, Bud, you get down to Danny's and tell him he's been spotted and to ditch everything. And to keep his mouth shut. Mike, we're heading for Florida. I'll pack things here while you and Red get that girl here somehow. Quick. Where are you going? I thought I'd do some shopping. Not today. It's dangerous that you leave the place today. Is there trouble? <laughs> More troubles than what you know. before we talk to the boy. Chuck, sometimes you do get a good idea. Yeah. that door in the next two minutes liable to get hurt. Here comes Chuck now. You get another horse, Chuck. She'll be safe in here till dark, and then we'll take her across the border. Got her, eh? Good work. So you tried to trick us, eh? You think you're smart, don't you? 
delivering messages to your man down at the border. Well, what have you got to say about that? So you're one of the gang. I might have known it, you dirty double-crosser. You're going to be our guest for a while, Miss Secret Service. Let your star packer friends get you out of this. Say, how did you know she was a spy? I've known it ever since I've been here. And when she tipped me off tonight that she was trying to get away, I thought you might want her. So I brought her here. <laughs> and how I want her. By the way, here's that note from Danny. Thanks. Get his gun, Mike. Now I remember who you are. You're that race driver that drove me down here. And now you've come to take you back. You'll never take me back, Henri. Boys, go round up that double-crossing partner of his and bring him in here. I'll take care of this bird. Turn around. Turn around and face that door. Get going. Got to trick this old cuss. He's fast with both guns. Well, that kid pal of his is probably done for by this time. Hey, you try all the saloons, and I'll go back to the house. Steady. If anything has happened to that kid, I'll make you look like a sieve. Get going. Monsieur, I'm going to cut you to a ribbon. Let's see you try it.
What are you waiting for, Mike? What did you say about ribbons, Mike? Where are those bonds? I haven't got them. Joe took them. Don't lie. That is the truth, monsieur. I swear it. Get in that room. Yeah, but Joe got the bonds and made a getaway. Yeah, I just saw him drive away in a car. We've got to get out of here. Chico and haven't stopped that guy.
Here's what we were after, Chuck. He's done for. And that settles that part of our business. Yeah. And now... You called me a dirty double-crosser. Now I'm going to show you just how double-crossing I can be. I'm taking you with me. Yeah. You're going with us. How did you boys ever meet my niece? Your niece? Well, you see, Judge, after we crossed the border, I did a lot of double crossing. And someday I'm going to double cross you, Judge, and take her away from you. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,